Hey beauty babes, I'm Raquel and this is Perfected Beauty. So in today's video, we're going to be recreating this look. Now the reason for me doing this video is actually a little bit different. My little cousin Miracle, hey girl, hi, is on the color guard and they have a performance coming up soon where they need to recreate this eyeshadow look. So she sent me the picture, she asked me, hey, can you teach me how to do it? I said, of course. And so I'm creating this video so that she can watch it and follow along with it when it's time for her to perform. But also, it's a banging look. Like, I love this eye look so much. So I figured that everyone in YouTube land can appreciate it. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to get started with this recreation, I'm going to be taking a skin toned brown. So for me, that's going to be this color right here. So I'm going to be sweeping that back and forth into my crease. And with this first color, I'm going to be taking this the farthest up and out because it's a fairly neutral color and it'll just help with transitioning everything else. And also with this color, I'm going to get started on the kind of V shape that you can sort of see on the outside of the eye. After I sweep it back and forth in the crease, then I'm going to just pull it outwards towards the tail of my brow. And that's really just basically laying a foundation for the rest of the shadows that we're going to put down. So the next shadow that I'm going to be taking is this kind of orange-ish brown. And I'm going to be putting that in almost the exact same spot where we just put that lighter color. Um, this one is just has a little bit more color to it, a little bit more pigment, and this is really going to act as our transition color. So now I'm going to go in with this color, like I said, basically the same place, keeping it a little more focused on the crease, and just going back and forth. And you want to start at the end of your eye and come all the way in to right in the inner socket just before you get onto the nose. So this is going back and forth in the entire crease. So once I take it back and forth and I feel like I have enough of the color placed down, I'm gonna now start to move in circles and really blend it up. And again, you always wanna keep in mind the V on the outside of the eye. So now I'm gonna go to the ends and sweep it up towards the tail and then just kind of bring it back to create that V shape. The next color I'm going to be taking is one of the darker colors. It's going to be this reddish brown. And I'm going to take that on a smaller brush and keep it in an even more focused area of my eye. So I'm definitely not going to bring it as far up as I did that last brown that we just used. But it is still going to be pretty blown out because it is a dramatic eye look. So I'm just going to put that right in my crease. And with this one, I'm going to even start to come onto my lid right here in the outer corner and then just blend it back and forth into my crease. And then what I'm gonna do is go back with that brown that we used before this one, and I'm just going to blend out the edges up here and kind of redeposit that color, making sure we don't lose it with this red color. So now I'm gonna be going in with the darkest color that we'll be using, which is this super rich chocolatey brown. And I'm gonna take that on a much smaller and flatter brush. So I'm gonna take that and actually start to just pat it instead of swiping it right here on the outer portion of our eyelid. And I'm basically just stamping it on. So imagine that the brush is a stamp and you're literally just stamping the eyeshadow on where you want it. So I'm putting that on the outer portion of my eyelid and I'm also going to trace a much smaller V right on the outside, inside of where we created that V with those other colors. And once I've got most of the color off of this brush, I'm going to go ahead and just sweep it into my crease, keeping it very tight close to the eyelid. Once we have that color placed down, you can see you can see where it is and it's kind of harsh. It's actually really harsh. And you can see on the finished product over here how it's very soft and blended out. So I'm going to go back in with the red brown but that we used before this one and just go over top of it and blend it out. Keeping that same shape because you don't want to move that dark brown around too much. That's how you can end up with raccoon eyes and ain't nobody got time for that. So 
just sweeping right over top of it exactly where it is but just softening it with that red shadow and once you're happy with how soft that darker brown shadow is blended onto your eye go ahead and take a flat shadow brush and pick up that same red brown shadow that we've been using to blend and I'm gonna be packing that onto my lid this is gonna kind of be the base for those shimmery shadows I'm just packing that onto my lid and kind of carving out a crease but not anything too intensely now that I've got that color down I'm gonna be taking my NYX glitter glue to use as a base for the shimmery shadows. Another option is you could just wet your brush when using your shimmery shadows because what this glitter glue is gonna do is just intensify the shine and the shimmer, which wetting the brush basically has that same effect. I'm just gonna be taking a little bit and dabbing it onto my eye all over my lid. Then I'm first gonna be taking this brighter red shimmer shadow and packing that on with a flat brush right on top of where I put that NYX glitter glue. So I'm just going all over the lid and making sure not to come up too high and kind of using this shadow as well to cut out a bit of the crease. Once I've got that done, I'm gonna actually be going in with this darker shimmer shadow. It's going back over that outer corner to keep consistent with the darkness in that outer V. So I'm just going over top of that and then also just a little bit on the inner corner, but not too far in because we have to save room for the tear duct highlight. Next, I'm gonna be just taking this gold shimmer color from my inner corner highlight and spraying the tip of my brush to get it a little bit wet. And then I'm just gonna place that right in my tear duct. You also wanna bring it up a little bit onto the eyelid to make sure that it blends and also down below. I'm gonna go back with a few of those shadows to make sure that's nice and blended. And then we're just going to take those same shadows that we used in the transition on the top of our eye and use it on our lash line. So I'm going to go back in with that orange brown first, and then in with that red brown, and then in with just a teeny bit of the darkest brown. And we are just about done with this look actually, so now I'm just going to go in. What I did for the glitter liner portion, I just took my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and went over top of it with the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner. Yeah, and then just went over top of it with the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in gold um, and filled that in. So I'm gonna do that, put on lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, whoa, them eyes are done, girl. I feel like this is a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think it's super cute, but I just think it's a lot to ask of little kids to do. I don't know. Maybe everyone's not as young as my cousin Miracle. Not really sure. Um, but this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just kidding, it's not the finished look. She also has um, lips in the picture. So in the picture, the lips are just like a basic nude lip so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my lips and just put on a basic nude lip should be simple enough so the liner that I'm using is called color edge it's or it's by a brand called color edge um, and it's in the color mocha I just picked it up from my beauty supply store so just use whatever your favorite like neutrally nudie liner is maybe I should come in a little bit closer so just use your favorite um, nude liner or like neutral-ish liner and I'm just gonna line my lips and I actually think what I'm gonna do today is just fill in my whole lip with the liner and then just go over it with that nude lip color so I'm gonna be using NYX lingerie in the color lippy all right so now that is it now that is my finished look um, I personally love it. I'm so glad that my cousin needed help doing this because it gave me a reason to do it and I freaking love it. It's, um, you know, the, the glitter eyeliner is a little extra so you can do with or without it. 
but I personally love it I hope you guys loved it too uh, follow me on all my social media I will link my foundation routine in the description box below because I didn't do that in this video I just did the eyes subscribe to my channel like this video if you liked it share it with your friends like let's make it a party um, and yeah that's that's pretty much it thank you guys once again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one